It's time to take a look at what's happening around Wyoming. I'm Wendy Corr, bringing you headlines from the Cowboy State Daily Newsroom for Friday, May 17th. Anger over a broken relationship, text messages, and a confrontation in a Casper City park all allegedly led up to the shooting death of a 17-year-old girl early Tuesday. A police affidavit filed in Casper Circuit Court states that even Castaner allegedly went to Buckboard Park shortly after midnight with a Glock 9mm pistol he'd taken from his mother's home three days before. Cowboy State Daily's Dale Killingbeck reports that Castaner texted Linnea Brown before the tragic confrontation, telling her that he planned to, quote, celebrate when you die. There'd been a broken relationship between the young man, 17-year-old charged in the shooting and the 17-year-old girl. There had been texting going back and forth, particularly from the young man. The young man charged in the shooting wanted to fight, so they met at a park on the southwest side of Casper. And the young man that's charged took a weapon from his mom, had that weapon. And according to the affidavit, his ex-girlfriend was walking toward him and had raised a fist, and he just uh, pointed the gun and shot her in the head. The first-degree murder charge carries the potential for a life prison term. Property owners along a now-closed Boswell Road in southern Albany County are angry that they've been cut off from their land. Cowboy State Daily's Mark Hines reports that because of the confusion over who controls the road, many landowners are finding that they can't build their homes or drive cattle to their longtime summer grazing pastures. I talked to three people that are actually directly affected by this. Uh, One of them is a rancher. They've been ranching in Albany County for six generations, and they have summer range that goes just across the Colorado State Line along Boswell Road. So they depend on that every summer to get their cattle up there uh, to free range graze. And they're not certain if they can get up, legally get up there this year because of the situation with the road. The Forest Service is trying to get special use permits for private property owners to use Boswell Road. Meanwhile, the road remains closed to the general public. The economy may be roughed up, but gold and copper prospects have one Wyoming mining company seeing new riches as pricing for the commodities have gone on a tear recently. Cheyenne-based U.S. Gold Corporation recently hit a major permitting milestone toward development of a gold and copper mine west of the state's capital city, even as surging prices for the commodities bring the project's worth up to about $3.7 billion. That's according to Energy reporter Pat Mayo. They're at the early stages now of looking at raising money to begin mining. And they're estimating some rather large deposits in that mine um, east of Cheyenne here and a few miles out of town. You know, they're looking at probably raising roughly a quarter of a billion dollars to put it all together. But yeah, it's pretty much uh, on the go now. It's, we're going to be mining gold here in the state of Wyoming. Other permits are expected in coming months to deal with dust and emissions from equipment and water discharge to handle sediment running into creeks and tributaries. Wyoming House Speaker Albert Summers faced an important decision following his final legislative session as House leader this spring, stay in the legislature or move on. After months of talking with constituents and considering his own personal life, Summers officially announced Thursday that he is running in the Republican primary for Senate District 14. Cowboy State Daily's Leah Wolfson reports that Summers will be up against Kemmerer Sheep Rancher and school bus driver Laura Talaferro Pearson. Summers came under attack a lot during the 2023 session which was his first as speaker, mostly over the issue of keeping certain bills in his drawer rather than letting them come out and be heard uh, for debate and voted on. Uh, He even got attention for this on Fox News, on national news. Summers also already has an opponent in this race in Kemmer resident Laura Taliaferro Pearson. Pearson is completely new to the political scene. However, she has been testifying before the legislature over the last couple of years. Uh, She expresses farther right views And uh, more than anything, she said people in Wyoming are fed up with the way the state is being run. The Senate District 14 seat had been held since 2016 by Fred Baldwin of Kemmerer, who announced in February he's not running for re-election. And Yellowstone National Park tourists actually behaved themselves and nobody was mauled when a mama grizzly with two large cubs took a stroll through the Upper Geyser Basin near Old Faithful and close to crowds of visitors earlier this week. Cowboy State Daily's Mark Hines reports that a webcam video of the Tuesday event shows people keeping a reasonably safe distance from the bears, while at the same time, the bears were just out on a stroll like any other park visitor. Just taking their time. One of the cubs does break into a gallop at some point, but it looks like he's just having fun. And remarkably, or maybe not so remarkably, the tourists all behave themselves. They stay on the boardwalks, they keep their distance, 
they just politely watch as the bears just stroll on by. And so that's how we like things to go in Yellowstone Park. Things don't always go quite so smoothly with human-wildlife interactions in Yellowstone. In April, 40-year-old Clarence Yoder of Idaho was extremely lucky to suffer only minor injuries when he allegedly kicked a bison while drunk. And that's a look at today's news. Get your free digital subscription to Wyoming's only statewide newspaper by hitting the subscribe button on CowboyStateDaily.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Wendy Kaur for Cowboy State Daily.